Hey, it's a slightly chilly Saturday morning, but you know, I like it a little chilly. Um, I actually like the cold. I know I'm crazy that way. Some people really like the heat. I hate the heat. Anyway, uh, it's another week. This, I feel, is the most unearned weight loss I've had. Uh, bad week in terms of eating stuff I shouldn't. Even had a little binge at a drive through which, you know, it's, I don't know how, how, you, how people do this, how I do this. You know, you know you shouldn't. You're feeling guilty while doing it, but you still do it. Um, you get to a point of no return. It's like, well, I'm here. Well, I've ordered the food. Well, the food's sitting in the car, you know. Um, but all the decision points up to then, you can say no. Even when you're in the drive-thru, you can say no, or you can say, oh, I just like a diet soda or something. Save yourself. But no, I didn't. So a lot of eating stuff I shouldn't have. But I still put out a small weight loss because of the days in between. And then yesterday, um, it wasn't a total crackdown day. Honestly, it's the kind of day I should be having in terms of calories and proteins and lack of carbs. Um, so that saved me. But yeah, uh, unearned this week, but it is what it is. Big events coming up next week. Sorry, I got to wave at a neighbor. Anyway, um, Big events coming up tomorrow. Tomorrow is like a, a double eating day. Uh, so we have a thing called the Peace Picnic, which I'm a big supporter of. And if you're in the United States, it may be in other places as well. But in the United States, uh, the Muslim community, um, after 9-11, uh, they did an outreach to the Christian communities uh, and have what they call a Peace Picnic. It's an annual event. Probably Google Muslim Peace Picnic and you may find it. This one is in Woodland, California, not Woodland Hills, but Woodland, California. It's at Ferns Park, and it's tomorrow from 11 to 3, and it includes um, a free Pakistani buffet. Uh, so yeah, can't go wrong with that. And then it just happens that my church is doing a fundraiser um, dinner for uh, their mission trip to Guatemala, uh, a place called Porch de Solomon. You can also look that up. It's, uh, they uh, facilitate churches uh, going to Guatemala, which is a very, very poor country and a very poor area of that country, to help build uh, proper permanent houses there because people are living in, in shacks that can't survive the rainy weather, that have no kind of plumbing or sanitation. They don't even really have a proper pit toilet even. Anyway, so they build them uh, proper houses. Uh, they just bring in the labor, uh, the, so the churches are providing the labor, the churches are helping pay for the uh, products, they bring in doctors, they bring in all kinds of things, and so these people who were living in shacks, um, you know, like I said, they can't even survive the rain, uh, now have, you know, they're cinder block, they're really simple constructions, but moving from a shack that's going to get flooded, that's going to get blown over, to a cinder block building that's going to stay dry, that has, uh, you know, a proper place to cook and a proper... Uh, separation of where you sleep and where you go to the toilet is is a significant huge improvement you know you talk about Western privilege you know go to places like that and you'll understand what Western privilege is anyway the tickets were expensive I didn't know if I wanted to go uh, my kids knew about it they wanted to go because it sounded like great food well lo and behold somebody from the church bought three tickets and gave them to me for me and the girls so we're going to that so tomorrow's a big eating day so I guess I should try to make today not a big eating day. Anyway, um, that's the update. The uh, weight will be in the end card. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, remember, stay healthy is always important. That's always the goal. I'm doing this to be healthy. I'm doing this to get healthy again. I'm doing this to be able to be more active again. Um, I just noticed that my health was bad. My mobility was bad. And that's why I started this journey. And again, just to reiterate my journey, is 360 pounds. I've got a ways to go. I'm not going to lie. It's a long journey. You just got to start it. And based on both uh, current advice I got from doctors and nutritionists and previous advice as well as from books, the basics are really simple. Low calorie and low carb. Um, your body needs, you know, it's a rough estimate. Everybody's different, but roughly 2,500 calories just to idle, just to exist. So you get below that, but not too crazy below that. Um, like 1500 calories a day 
you're going to start burning that excess calories and that excess calories is your fat and the reason you want to do low carbs is chemically speaking carbohydrates can become hydrocarbons and hydrocarbons includes body fat so if you don't give your body something it can turn into fat it can't turn it into fat if you give your body a little less fuel than it needs each day it has to burn your reserves and that's your body fat um, so that's pretty basic anytime you are going on a big diet talk to a doctor you're probably going to have to take vitamins just because you're going to be getting different food that maybe doesn't have the same nutrition density um, so yeah vitamins are important um, exercise is important but not for the reason you think you're not going to burn off calories by jogging but what you are going to do is you're going to kickstart your metabolism and your metabolism is kind of I don't know your idle speed or something so it's how well your engine is running so if your engine is running better it's going to burn the fuel better and it's going to um, I know it sounds like oh an efficient engine means it uses less gas well in bodies an efficient engine uses more gas I don't know whatever but yeah so that's the reason for exercise is to kickstart the metabolism not to just oh I jog five miles I should lose two pounds no you jog five miles you're lucky if you lose anything and a lot of that's going to be sweat weight which is going to come back as soon as you rehydrate no what you're doing is you're getting your body metabolism going so that's another factor so you have simple chemistry of hydrocarbons and, and carbohydrates you have the low calorie and you have getting your metabolism going and those are very basic things but again if you're on a big journey especially a big journey of weight loss first of all I wish you luck I wish you everything I pray for you because it's a hard journey it's a hard journey to stay on I know uh, I have had several false starts in my life I have had even on this journey I had a couple times when I just kind of like gave up and there was like a couple months where I wasn't losing weight I wasn't even trying but I'm back on it and I'm not going to pretend I'm going to be Mr. Body Positivity look at me I'm super muscle boy because I don't think I'll ever be that I just want to be healthy I just want to be more mobile so if you're on a journey please share me share with me your, your journey um, share this video uh, with anybody you know that's on a journey if you're on a journey and maybe seeing me might help them understand what's going on with you please share as well um, if you find it this little video here educational entertaining inspirational give it a thumbs up uh, subscribe if you want to um, subscriptions are a little less important they just make me feel good honestly the levels you need to get the attention of YouTube and in views and everything I'm not gonna go near that uh, but yes please um, enjoy your life and the best way to enjoy it is to be able to live it longer and live it better. Thank you.